Yes, hello? Yes, hi. I saw the show and I'd love to get involved with the Dream Makers. I don't know who you are. I don't know where you are. But what I do know is that if you're wanting to get involved with Dream Makers, we can make it happen. You see, what we have here is a very particular set of skills. Making big outdoor dreams come true for youths under the age of 25 with life-threatening illnesses and disabled veterans. Now, if you want more information, you can go to our website and that'll be the end of it. But if you want to call one of our offices and speak to one of us, we will answer. We will give you the information you need and you will become a dream maker. Well, that sounds great. Well, great. No, I really appreciate your acquiring. We're looking forward to talking with you more. You have a great day. All right, now take care. Howdy everybody, Johnny Piazza here, host of Dream Makers, and welcome to season two. Now this season's gonna be action packed to the hilt. It's gonna have a ton of hunts, a ton of other outdoor adventures, and you're not gonna to wanna to miss this. Well, howdy everybody, Johnny Piazza here, host of Dream Makers, and we've got an awesome episode coming at you. We're gonna have a very special hunter, a recipient, and then we're also gonna have a very special guest that's gonna help Carter on his hunt. Now, let me tell you a little bit about Carter. He unfortunately struggles with a form of leukemia, and although it's tough on Carter, as an outdoorsman, he does not let it hold him back at all. My name is Carter Bendixson. I'm a recipient from the Outdoor Adventure Foundation and I'm here in Montana and I'm really excited to be here for my first mule deer hunt. Two years ago, Carter was uh, diagnosed with ITP. It is an uh, idiopathic blood disorder. It eats platelets in his blood is what happens and he ended up with a brain bleed and uh, ended up in the hospital. I went through chemo a few times and had infusions all the time and shots. And none of that really helped and then I got my spleen removed and then from there on I've been good since. When I was going through treatment it was kind of rough, it was very sickening. But now I'm feeling very much better and I'm looking forward to this hunt. Kelly will be taking us out hunting so I'm pretty excited about that because he's the landowner out here and he'll be showing us around and Keith is also coming with so that should be fun because they'll be filming the whole thing. So. I'm really excited and I'm ready to get this hunt started and it should be fun. So Carter got linked up with the Outdoor Adventure Foundation and they set up this whole mule deer hunt for him. And what we do here is quite simple. We provide hunts and other outdoor adventures to use under the age of 25 with life-threatening illnesses and disabled combat veterans. Now, if you're out there and you wanna get involved, all you've gotta do is head over to our website. You'll have all the information that you need in order to donate, whatever it might be. Another really easy way to give is just to shoot us a text. All you've gotta do is send a text to give to OAF at 21000 and you'll be enrolled in our spare change system. Now here at the Outdoor Adventure Foundation, we are very fortunate to have a lot of people that get involved in all sorts of ways, including some celebrities. And on today's hunt is gonna be a very special guest. His name is Keith Warren, and he's been hosting outdoor TV for 30 years. Now Keith Warren, he is no stranger to the Outdoor Adventure Foundation. He's taken out a whole bunch of recipients on a variety of hunts all over the place. And you can tell that Keith, he's got a real passion for this. So the way this hunt came about is uh, my friend Brian Solom, who runs the Outdoor Adventure Foundation, he called up and he said, hey, we've got a, a ranch in the southeast corner of Montana that is covered up with deer. We'd like you to come on a hunt and film a young man that is gonna be the recipient of an Outdoor Adventure Foundation gift. So I had a deer tag for this part of Montana and I decided, okay, let's go ahead and make a combo hunt. 
We'll film the recipient of the Outdoor Adventure Foundation hunt first and then film me next. So what I like best about dealing with the folks with the Outdoor Adventure Foundation is the fact that they truly are committed to, uh, just for a very brief moment in time, if you will, to get these people's minds off of the troubles that they have. So up here in Montana with a deer tag, you have the choice to take either a white-tailed deer or a mule deer. And Carter, because he's never taken a mule deer before, has chosen to hunt for a mule deer. I can tell you one thing though, if you're looking for a mule deer like Carter, there is no better place to go than the Otawahi Ranch. The owners of the Otawahi Ranch are the Ostendorfs. They're some of the best people you've ever met and they've taken out a bunch of our recipients and they pretty much have like the best success rate when it comes to knocking down big mule deer bucks. This is Carter Bendixson from Minnesota. Hi Carter, I'm Keith Warren. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. Josh, I'm Keith. I'm Josh. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, sir. Yeah. So you gotta be used to cold weather like this. Yeah. I'm not. <laughs> so I am super excited about this episode because I'm gonna get to hop behind the camera and get all the action on film for you, the viewer. Typically how we hunt out here is um, we drive from the Suburban, do a lot of glassing from there. We might get up on some high points in glass. Um, we don't typically do a lot of walking in glassing because most of the time the deer know you're there before you ever see them and, and they're leaving. And if they see you from a vehicle, they don't booger as much and we try to keep as little pressure on them as possible just so that they're around and we're not pushing them off. So we were told it was gonna be cold, but let me tell you something, this was a whole new level of cold. There were trees knocked over, there were chainsaws not working, the camera was messing up. It was new ground. But that being said, it didn't stop us from seeing animals. There's two does, a small buck, walking along over there. Yeah, there's typically a little better buck with these guys right around here. Boy, they're not very spooked at all. That's nice. Yeah. Yeah. There's that other buck right there coming in. There's been a better one. He's only a three by three, but he's a lot better framed deer that's been right here too with this one. Oh, if you look to the left, there he is. See him there? Oh yeah. Yeah, he's going down by the hay bales. It's a wide rack. He's a three by three. He's pretty heavy. Missing the front splits there, but still a pretty good deer. Mm -hmm. What do you think? It's a nice one, but try for something bigger. Okay. You gotta make me work hard. <laughs> I get it. Well, Now keep in mind, Keith is looking for a nice whitetail, and wouldn't you know it, they run across one. This is a dandy buck, and he's hanging out by this really cool barn. It would have been the most awesome kill shot ever. But Keith is committed. He wants to get Carter a mule deer before he ever pulls the trigger. So they're gonna keep chasing those mule deer. So Carter's been having some good luck so far. He's seen a bunch of mule deer, and he's passed a bunch of bucks. But if he sees a buck that trips his fancy, and now they just need to figure out how to make a move on him. When I saw this buck for the first time, I got pretty pumped and I got my adrenaline going and pretty excited and just wanted to get that buck and decided that's the one. We spotted these deer. There was, I don't know, six or seven of them, I guess three bucks, but there's yeah. one real nice framey buck and we're gonna go for him. So let's go, go on, I'm following y'all. 
Okay, we're gonna peek over this hill real slow. I don't think they'll know we're here. The wind's blowing right in our face real good, so. Okay, take it easy. Slow up. Okay, see him right there? Let's go get set up right here. Let's move a little further. Sit down here. I think it was nicer out when it was 20 or 10 below and no wind. The wind is cold. It's calm, it's not bad. Yeah. Alright, he's the he's the one in the middle of the group. He's got his butt to us right now. There's two other littler bucks. What do you think of him? That's the one. Think so? No. Just wait till he turns. It might be a little bit, but we'll just wait. Yeah, that's a good deer. Get a range on it. Well, if he turns broadside, you let him have it. Okay, they're going to left. Left. How's that feel? Feels good. Okay. Well, they're, they're stopping again. They're not going to go anywhere. Here, I'll get a range out of them again. Well, still right at 250. Look at that. So, he's going to the left there. Oh, don't shoot. Yeah, we're going to have to move a little bit. But I don't know if I want to because if they see us, they're going to really run. Okay. Take your time. Hard. Don't take the shot unless he's absolutely dead certain of it. In the field, he's the second one. I see him. Yeah, he's going after the other buck. Whenever he gets good broadside, just take your time and let him have it. All right, he's starting to turn a little bit. Look at him shake his head. It's just like 2 30, so whenever you're ready. Oh, you got him good. Good job, bud. Awesome shot. Look at that. Congratulations. That's Jesus, awesome. not going anywhere. Congratulations. That's Thanks, awesome. Man. That's a nice deer. That is awesome. Sweet. <laughs> Look at that. Wow. That's a nice buck. Look at that thing. Wow. The thing is, look at the brow tines on him. Yeah. yeah. You don't see that too often. And he's got a beautiful coat. Look at this. What a nice buck. That's probably the furthest I've ever shot a deer, to be honest. I'm proud of you. I mean, you did yep. good. We were set up on him, the wind was blowing our face, and they had no idea we were there. No. I mean, it was absolutely perfect. That was fun. That's a nice deer I got, so I'm happy. And folks, if y'all want more information on the Outdoor Adventure Foundation, we'd like you to contact them. I think it's a great thing that they do. It's amazing to create memories for people that may never experience that. And the Dream Maker Show, that's what it's all about. It's about giving back. It's about these people with big hearts at the Outdoor Adventure Foundation giving back. Of course, Kelly and his family have been giving back for many, many years. And uh, there's a lot of people countless people that have been supporting the foundation I encourage you to do so. I got a tag too and I saw one that I really would like to go for so you want to tag along with me on that one? Yeah I'll tag along. a boy! <laughs> Alright let's get this guy taken care of we gotta get a tag on him and then uh, eat some lunch and we'll go out and see if we can get a tag on one for me. Perfect let's go do it. I was pretty excited when we uh, come up there and Carter had his first mule deer laying on the ground and he was already taking pictures with it when I got there, so I was pretty excited. Proud of Carter for uh, toughing it out and sticking it out through the weather, brutal weather we had the last couple days, and sticking with it and getting, his, getting the job done. Very proud of him. So Keith and Kelly got it done for Carter. They got him a beautiful mule deer, and you can tell that his dream has officially come true. Now, coming up, Keith is going to get to chase a buck of his own, and you're definitely not going to want to miss it. Stick around. Dream Makers will be right back. Are y'all leaving? Carter. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Thank you. Congratulations, and uh, let's stay in touch, okay? Okay. All right. Well, very good. They've got a short drive home. We've got a, a good day ahead of us. Today is day two of the mule deer hunt here in Montana, and we may be going for a whitetail. I don't know. 
But you got a heck of a buck, and I'm proud of you, and uh, y'all be good. good be careful. You. Thank you. Unfortunately, Carter had to leave, and so I'm going to be taking off with Kelly and see what we bump into. Yeah, there's a buck right there. He's behind that tree. Yeah, he doesn't look very old, does he? No, I think he's pretty young, dear. Well, he's using that tree big time, isn't he? He's getting smarter ready for being a young deer. Yeah, I can't believe he's all alone. Let's keep going. All right. That was a cool looking deer, that stag. We raise cattle on the ranch here. These are out for winter pasture right now, so they're doing pretty good. They just piling out of there. Where in the world they come from? Yeah, that's pretty cool right there, isn't it? Yeah, it's standing on top of the bales like that. Yeah. That tells us right there that we need to be focusing on food sources big time. Yeah. I mean, there's not a lot of food out here, but if we find food, we'll find deer like that. So Keith and Kelly have been covering a lot of ground and seeing a ton of deer, but they just haven't spotted the right buck for Keith. And all of a sudden, they come around the corner and they see a familiar rack. It's the barn buck from before. Dun, 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 dun. Actually, we got a buck right here on the bottom of the hill. There's two of them, but one of them looks to be mature and he's making a scrape right now. Kelly, isn't it the same buck we saw? Yeah, we saw him yesterday. Pretty good deer. He's old. Yeah, that's the same buck, but I'm not gonna take that shot. Let that other deer get out of the way. He doesn't know we're here, so we got lots of time. Oh, he's running up the hill a little bit. Okay, all right, hold on. Let's he slows get down, he might, he might stop up there. Okay, come on now. Okay, I'm on him. If he turns this way and looks at me, I'm gonna bust him. All right. You ready, Johnny? Yeah. Here he goes. Got him. You nailed him. Way to go, congratulations. Looks like he's even going down right there. Yeah, he went down up there. In the yeah, piece. I see him down. Yep. I see him down. Congratulations. Thanks, man. Thanks, man. That was that was pretty pretty doggone awesome right there. That was. That was cool. Pulling up and being able to see a deer making a scrape and getting that footage that we did. So this is what he looks like. Oh, I mean, yeah. take a look at that. That uh, you see the shot. I mean, the shot placement was really good. But we got some phenomenal footage of this guy. Yeah, from seeing him from yesterday and everything too. Yeah. That, that's, that's pretty cool to know, find him again. We wound up, we, we've driven around a lot. We got Carter all tagged out and then he had to leave this morning. Yep. And I want to tell you all something. I mean, this, this hunt is a whole lot more to me, means a whole lot more to me than just taking a nice deer. It, uh, what this means to me is, is meeting people that have helped make the Outdoor Adventure Foundation the Outdoor Adventure Foundation, be able to make these dreams come true for kids and for people that, that really need the help outdoors. And so y'all have been involved, your family's been involved for how many years now? Uh, 10 years now. Every yep. year? Every year, yep, we get a recipient every year. And, and, and the whole deal about it is I look at it and I think, the, the Austin Dorser, they're special people because they take care of special people. They've got big hearts and they, they give. I look at your kids. And I think you got to be so unbelievable proud of your kids. They're the most awesome family of kids I have ever been around. And I've been around a lot of good kids, but they are awesome. And so it's a, it's a testament to y'all. And I appreciate y'all. I mean, thank you for letting me come hunt out here. But more importantly, thank you on behalf of everybody at the Outdoor Adventure Foundation and, and, and all the people watching. I want to encourage you, check out the Outdoor Adventure Foundation. And... Uh, get involved with it. We, at, at some level, just please get involved with it because it's making dreams come true for people that need to have those dreams. I was want to say a thank you to the Outdoor Adventure Foundation for this uh, wonderful opportunity for Carter and for us to bond and meet new people. And it was just one of them things you just can't put words to it. Well, I felt on this hunt, it was it was fun. I was excited, and it was amazing. It was something different that I've never done before and it really really took my mind off a lot of stuff and just all I thought really about was hunting and really just takes your mind off things. I'd like to thank the Outdoor Adventure Foundation because it's an amazing thing that they do for people. 
create good memories and for people that might not be able to have that experience and it's a great thing that they do. Now this has been an awesome hunt. We had a great time. Carter shot a beautiful mule deer and Keith shot a monster whitetail buck. But the most important part is that everybody enjoyed themselves in the outdoors. You know, that's what this is all about, is just making dreams come true for our recipients and their families. Now, if you're out there and you wanna get involved, all you've gotta do is head on over to our website. We would love to have you. And we will definitely see you next time right here on Dream Makers.